Yo, yo, welcome to the Slowpoke world, guys. And even with Rebel Clash coming out, we've still got some big poster boy decks to cover here at the channel. Uh, today's going to be ADPization. Might have to change a tiny little bit, but it definitely can. You know it can. Let's have a look. Hey, but real quick guys, before we get into the list, um, I, don't, I don't like asking, but um, if you do like the video and you sort of like Pokemon TCG content, uh, make sure you hit subscribe, because uh, 60% of the people that watch these videos now aren't subscribed, so let go on, just do us a favour, click that button, and uh, we'll have some fun. Daily TCG video. Right, yeah, so ADPization, we all sort of know the deal with ADPZ by now, we're going to lean into our uh, ADPGX 280 HP basic Pokemon uh, with two attacks, both are actually really usable, uh, the first one's Ultimate Ray, uh, for water, metal colourless, you do 150 damage and you search your deck for three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. Um, the good thing about ADP is, if you get an ultimate ray off, you feel as if it's a bonus, right? <laughs> if you get an ultimate ray, you're, you're uh, happy as Larry, but it's not guaranteed. Um, you sort of almost feels like win more if you get an ultimate ray off. The real reason you play this deck is for the auto creation. So, auto creation for one metal. For the rest of this game, your Pokemon's uh, your Pokemon's attacks, I should say, do an extra 30 damage, right? Um, so that's cool. That's cool. That makes ultimate ray do 180. Uh, let's you knock out the Dene. But if you have a water energy attached as well, as we start to get bonkers, that means for the rest of our game, um, our Pokemon take an extra prize card when we knock out other Pokemon, right? How silly is that? So we take three prizes off of the DNA, we take two prizes off non Jex and non V Pokemon, and off tag teams, we take four. So. And VMAX as well, I should say. So, yeah, that's that's insane. We all know how crazy ADP is. Um, before Zacian came out, before Sword and Shield, had split with Keljo, weren't really the best partner. But let's be honest, we all know Zacian is pretty much the uh, best partner ADP could have got. Or is going to time me down a little bit. So, let's look at Zacian. Basic uh, V Pokemon, uh, 220 HP. Uh, with an attack Brave Blade for free straight metal, you do 230 and you can't attack next turn. Now, we all know attacking next turn stipulation is kind of weak. Like, we, there's plenty of ways to get around that, switches, all that good stuff. Um, and 230 is a really good base number, dealing with pretty much all non evolving V Pokemon. You fall a little bit short of tag teams, but that's fine. With the damage boost, we get up to 260. Um, and then with stuff like Shrine Ticks, we can get into your tag team range, which is super cool. And then we have a really cool ability as well. Uh, Intrepid Sword. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck, attach any number of metals you find there to this Pokemon, and put the other uh, cards into your hand, and then your turn ends. So... Well, that's really cool. So if you've missed like a double switch combo or whatever mid to late game, you can always intrepid store to try and find your boss's orders and stuff, find your combo pieces. And turn one going first, it's like a three, a free, free card. It's like you get to play hop for no reason. Um, and if you get like an energy or two, you're laughing. And you're actually seeing the game as well. We managed to load our top decks so we can um, guarantee the meta energy, which is also really cool. Uh, weakest to fire is a pain. That's, that's the sort of crux of the deck, I think. You are weak to fire, but always around that, we know. Uh, resistance to grass, I guess, if you run into Rillaboom. That's kind of cool. So, uh, I mentioned that ADP has to change. Um, and I feel as if Zamazenta is the way we do that. So, Zamazenta V, everyone was laughing at this card before. And now it's actually going to start seeing play almost immediately. <laughs> uh, basic V Pokemon, 230 HP. Uh, Dauntless Shield ability, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon uh, by VMAX. Pokemon, okay. Um, and the reason why we play Zamazenta, uh, Zamazenta sorry, uh, is solely for that because um, ADP Zation is really good at dealing with sort of tag team decks, basic decks. Like for basic decks, it just mulls through, okay. But where it's going to start losing its grip on the format almost instantly is because of VMAX. Like there's no there's no amount of damage modifiers you can use to get a Brave Blade to one shot a uh, VMAX. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> so um, we have to find other ways to combat that. And um, I think Zamazenta is the best way right now. Um, so obviously the big suspect matchups we've got. Uh, we'll say Dragapult, for example. Um, we we know we have to two shot that. You know they kind of almost two shot us. Well, no, they do two shot us. While sprinkling, while sprinkling, they they're just gonna like tank a couple hits and then like take four or five prizes in a turn to win. Um, but what Zamazenta does is it really puts them in a tough position because once they evolve one V Max, let's say. 
Well, let's say they've, they've, they've got two VMAXs out. They've been a silly boy. You drop a Zamazenta, they're like, uh-oh. Now I actually can't hit this thing. All, they have to, all they've literally got is just boss's orders and sprinkle damage, right? Um, and after ADP boost, you actually two-shot them. The Zamazenta as well. I will go on to attack in a minute. But uh, also what it makes them do, it makes them play differently. Even if they know you played as a Zamazenta, right? Or, you know, they've only got one VMAX evolved. They've got one on the bench. Um, it makes them play so much more differently because um, the baby Dragapult V isn't really too efficient at killing a Zamazenta. It has to two-shot them, right? And I think even with, uh, if you use um, a frying pan, they actually have to three-shot you, which is insane. So, um, it just really puts a spanner in the work for those VMAX decks. And let's get onto the attack now. For two metal, one curl, it's Assault Tackle. Uh, there's 130 and discard this pressure energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's going to be knocking off your horror energies. I believe they're called knocking off speed energies potentially as well. Knocking off two energies as well. Uh, and then so with the ADP boost, that does 160. That is a really good number at dealing with Dragapult. So the Zamazenta is definitely worth an inclusion now. Okay, we play one of those. Uh, we play four stations, I should say as well. Play two ADPs. Um, we play three Jirachi. Now, I've always liked three. I've never liked four. I think four is a bit excessive. We're not as dependent on Jirachi turn one with this deck because we've got Intrepid Sword to always fall back on. I'd rather play four Intrepid Swords um, and three Jirachi than the other way around. But you know, if you're on a bit of a budget, um, you can play three Zations and go four Jirachi. Or you can just go three, three. It's not like um, end of the world. But obviously, Stellarith lets you dig into our deck. Lets us find all the trainers we need, like a skateboard, switches, bosses, orders, supporters, uh, metal saucer, all that good stuff. I mentioned that we can load our uh, top decks with this deck. Uh, we use Angu to do that. So what we can do to one super nice combo mid to late game as well. If you're sort of down energy cards, you can put an energy from your hand to the top of your deck with Infinite Wisdom and then Intrepid Sword it and you know there's going to be at least one energy guaranteed there. So it lets you cheat an extra energy. Super cool. So yeah, that's the Pokemon. Oh, then two Dene as well. Now I did, I was playing Wounded Dene, one Eldegrass. But I find with this deck, you, you, you just need to see cards every turn, right? Um, and I guess Elder Gloss does let, you, does let you see cards if you get yourself like a Marnie or a Professor's Research. But I find I'd rather have 2 DNA, to be honest. <laughs> like, I'd rather have 2 DNA, just turbo, 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 turbo. So that's why we play 2 DNA in here. But I'm not going to argue with you if you want to play Elder Gloss. Like, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go on to the trainers. So, we are playing the sort of uh, spinner version. I'm a fan of spinner version acrobikes just because like I said ADP needs to see cards every turn like I wouldn't say it's an, an inherently inconsistent deck but it can sort of chug things need to happen you need to energy turn one realistically you know you need to sort of get metal sources and you need to get energies in the bin so I like to go on a sort of more turbo route um, so with that being said we play two acrobikes just so we can help get energies in the bin all that good stuff we play two Cherish Balls so we can find more outs to ADP turn one and more outs to get our Dedenes mid to late game. We still play our four Quick Balls. We play three Energy Spinners. A couple of reasons for that. Um, this is how we find our Water Energies for our ADP GX. So we effectively have uh, five outs for that turn one. We play three Spinners, two Water. But it also lets you do, if you're going second, it lets you sort of get out loads of metal energy as well and then put them in the bin with quick balls and stuff or um, the Dene. So that's really cool. Energy spin is really nice. Um, I feel as if the sort of energy switch version is almost a necessity now for ADP. Before, if you played the sort of turbo um, energy switch version, it was sort of seen as a bit of a niche. Now I think because a lot of decks are going to be using energy denial to try and compact Dragapult, you get really caught in a crossfire, crossfire by that, right? Like if you're going first, you attach an energy and then um, they just knock it off. You're so far back now. I know a lot more decks like Inteleon VMAX, are people playing Team Yell now, people playing Hammers, just to try and catch uh, Dragapult, you will get caught in that cost right heavily. Like you wanna try and get auto creation off as early as possible. So with that being said, if you play the energy switches, you can get this off as early as turn one or spring it in a turn. Because all you do, you'll attach a, uh, you'll attach a water to your ADP, you will then metal source uh, an energy to a Zation or a Zamazenta or even a Jirachi uh, and then energy switch it on to, off to the ADP and then you can GX. Um, it also lets you get super funky with stuff if you sort of misses switches you can like um, pay retreat into pay retreat out of a Zation let's say energy switch energy from somewhere else onto the Zation then you just like switch um, with the Jirachi so yeah energy switches are super cool. Uh, my very first but <laughs> draft of ADP, Sword and Shield played energy switches. I loved it. I loved it. So, yeah. 
I've said a little bit about Metal Source. If you don't know what that does, uh, attach a Metal NG from your discard pile to one of your bench Metal Pokemon. Um, and like I said, if you don't get ult if you get Ultimate Ray off, your sources are just sort of, I wouldn't say dead for the whole game, but like having them as a fallback option is so nice. Uh, most of the time you don't get you don't get an ultimate ray off, so you are using your sources, and that just lets you, you know, keep tempo really. Um, lets you spring attackers out of nowhere. Uh, we play four switch, because like I said, um, while sort of Brave Braid not attacking next turn stipulation is a very easy one to sort of get around. We still need to play four switch to make sure we can do it. So, <laughs> so we still play four switch. Uh, we play one shrine. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, space was getting kind of tight in this list. Um, if you want to maybe cut your acrobites and have more stadiums, um, you can go ahead. I don't mind that. This is just going to help us sort of uptick into um, tag team range, really. Which you'll see in the game. Um, and then we play one Fire Pan. Just because like I said, we are weak to fire. Fire decks are everywhere. That's not going to change. Um, you know, if you want to play a couple, I'm not going to hate you for it. If you want to play um, Metal Goggles to potentially help your Dragapult matchup, I'm also fine with that. But I think one one of those is super necessary. And I've opted for Metal Fire Pan. Two Escape Board Fire Jirachis. And then support a lineup for Professor's Research, for Miner, just to have a little bit more hand disruption because I didn't have really have room for a stamp as well. So I thought for, for Miner should be okay. And then two bosses orders. And the reason I played two bosses orders in here is because we are taking extra prizes at a time. We're not so reliant on bosses orders. Like we only really have to KO one B Pokemon and one Dedene. To win the game right um which means we don't have to boss the orders as much so we don't, ergo we don't need as many in the list but if you want to go up to three i can I, I completely understand and then riding out the list is two basic water energies to fulfill our um our creation and then nine basic metals so yeah super i think it's a really good list i've been playing adp for a long time i feel like this is a quite a quite a good list um the game i've got for you today is actually quite a fun one um it's against a sort of firebox s type deck um we sort of the game plan sort of goes out the window relatively fast because <laughs> he was drawing hot under the sun. So you have to sort of freestyle the game plan, and it was quite a fun game. So um, I'm gonna shut up now and let you watch it. Well, I didn't see what types he was playing, unfortunately. Typical me, really. <laughs> Lost the coin flip. Now we are playing spinner, um, spinner energy switch. So we can try and pop off for the turn one. He let us go first. Um, so we get cherish ball. For our ADP, we could actually, um, yeah, quick boy ADP, put a metal in a bit attached from metal, uh, water to ADP. Yeah, it's actually not a bad hand at all, really. And we get an intrepid sword off as well, so it's actually not too much. Can't really argue with that, can you? Like, <laughs> all we have to do is just find a switch to get the Zation out of the active uh, next turn. Bear gets Hooper, okay. Now, because we've got the research, I don't really actually know if we want to get a Dedene out now, to be honest with you. So we've got a cherish. So let's actually um I'm trying to think what's the best thing to go? We could still go for the um Maybe we do just go for the Dene and just turbo through our we haven't prized one. That seems fine. Okay. Cherish ball. That'll grab the ADP. We are recording it, yeah, just making sure. Uh, yeah, let's get one more energy in the bin. Just so our sources are more alive. We'll bench that Zotion and then we'll do Dene. Okay, we get don't get a we don't get a switch. Mm, get an escape ball, quick ball. Let's bin off bosses orders for the RM Guru just so we can guarantee ourselves the intrepid here. That seems fine. Get an energy switch. Interesting. Um, I just think, just trying to work out which Zation is the best because this one's going to take a hit by it looks been a pretty big one. So let's intrepid to the back. Still no switch card though, which is annoying really. Um, Let's see what our opponent does. Okay, that's what we think it's a firebox. Is this baby clowns? Huh. I'm intrigued. I think it's probably baby clowns. 
We was he before for Malamon? For Jagapol? Did I know? Okay. <clears throat> so he's probably going to go for a turn 1 KO here, right? If, oh no, but he attached to the Heatran. Oh, I guess he doesn't actually need the... Um, yeah, he can just roll the attach here. Carney switch and that codes ocean, which is quite nice tempo for him, really. Gets rid of a Turt. Turt makes you think maybe it's more of a um, traditional firebox list now, I'm not sure. I mean, you know, these wild decks can be playing anything, so. This probably gets more Volpix, if it is a normal firebox. Oh, and Guru. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> And here we're going to see Dene now. It's not really much good, but boss all. I think we played two more though. Prize map is what? Three. Three. Or there. Gets the air balloon. Looks like he's going to have a KO here. Nice tempo for him. And it's not going to be too hard for him to KO the ADP afterwards. That's going to put a lot of pressure on our sources and stuff. <sighs> Looks like we have to play a Marnie, which I'm not really a fan of. Although, to be fair, no, because this is going to be a KO. Yeah, we can just energy switch Marnie. So he drew then. <laughs> What's there? Didn't he off that, did he? That's nice for him, huh? Must be nice. <clears throat> How many energies do you need to KO? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, so. That's scary. That's really scary. He can carry this ADP very easily. Oh, I'll we'll talk about a perfect term. <laughs> Is it worth putting... Uh, yeah, let's give ourselves a pivot. That seems sensible. Oh, look at the next card as well. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, is there? Uh, I'm trying. To, is there an argument to potentially try and go for the KO here? Hmm. Nah, I think we should just go for the GX still, and hopefully, if we Marnie him. He can't have a response KO. We do get a saucer, which is nice. Uh, we'll spin. I'll take energy out of the deck. I don't really want it there anymore. Yeah, we'll take the money. It would be nice to get a stage and replace there, but it doesn't look like that's what we're going to get. Let's go a little bit digging. We've been caught if we go. Oh, hold on. We got. Oh, we can actually take a KO here. I actually think that might be stronger. Mm. Oh, God. That's a tough decision. Um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I don't mind that. Put a lot of pressure on now. Let's see what he's got. Maybe not out of the wood yet by any means, but I think that turns better. Because if we just go GX, he just goes welder uh, for two attach. Uh, GX, then we're in a load of trouble, ain't we? So, <laughs> so he's gonna look like he's setting up for the Cryomorant KO there. Nice turn, really, in all fairness. So, my guy is just not missing a beat, huh? My guy is not missing a beat. Ridiculous, really. So next turn, hopefully the Marnie can stick. We're going to have to switch. We're going to have to find a double switch now. We haven't used one, all right? No, okay. <clears throat> so we can actually... Oh, is it worth getting out of a Dedeno? I think, yeah, no, I think we do, right? 
Although we kind of have to Marnie him. He's going to have all kinds of cards in this hand, right? AP is definitely not what we want to see. Um, how many... So here's what I'm thinking. We can load the quick... So hold on. So... We switch into this. We... What's the energy cost on this? If this is okay, yeah. So then we load the quick ball to the top. Get energy. I think that always goes here. And then we'll mine it. That way we guarantee the um, we can guarantee the quick ball. Uh, right. Let's have a think. So this probably what takes this. And then this grabs that. Uh, is it worth getting another Zation? Just in case you have to pay retreat, do some shenanigans. Do we bench Jirachi? Yeah, I think we do. And then we'll Dedene. It'd be nice if we had stamp. There's a switch. Nice. That's exactly what we're after. So we'll KO that. Now we have to find an attacker welder with a frying pan. So why well, we've got a frying pan attached. So you know, if you can line up where well, he can't bust his orders, which is nice. We've got a stage replacement for next turn as well. Right, and next turn, what we can do is pay retreat into Jirachi. We're going to go dig, dig, digging. We still got our boss's orders in deck, right? We've got a couple of boss's orders in deck. Catcher. <clears throat> so let's see. Victini. That would have been nice. Good thing we got a frying pan attached. What's he going for? Another Dedene? Mega low puff. Six, twelve. Okay. That's interesting. That's not a KO though. And just 180, right? <sighs> Would have been nice about a boss's orders off the <laughs> off the Dedene, huh? There's a welder. Are we gonna be for two? Yeah. Well it has to be because he yeah, okay. So my guy has it, Mr. Turner World. It must be nice. Before we flint, get cards out of deck. Again, that's super nice for him. How many switches have we seen? Three? Two. Okay. How many sources have we seen? Two. Okay. <sighs> wow. Wow. Oh, I've got 240, yeah, so we can't actually one shot that. Interesting. Nice. For him. Not used to Zacian not one shot and stuff, huh? <laughs> so let's have a think. We can. Oh, we can attach energy ultimate ray. With 10 off still, because we haven't used our creation. <laughs> okay. Well, wait, wait, I haven't seen any boss's orders from him yet, though. I only got a three card hand, though, so. 50. Okay. Okay, we get a Marnie. We know he's got a Marnie. Right. Um. Oh, wait, we've shrine. Oh, my God, we've shrine. We can. Okay, right, okay, right, 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 right. So. Let's think sequencing, sequencing. Aquabike first. Take that out of deck. Uh, pay retreat. 
touch uh, supporter. How many switches are in deck? Two. We've got 12 cards left in deck. Okay, yeah, so we'll research. Right, switches. You just need to find another switch. Yes, very good. Uh, so we actually found both of them. Nice. So Shrine coming in super clutch. And there we go. So he actually, he drew really well as well, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you don't even need ADP, do you? <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Much appreciated. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I try and power as much stuff here as I can. Full deck profiles, plus games, topic conversational pieces regarding anything in the TCG. Um, check out my Twitter, check out my Facebook, that's where you get most of the updates, sort of see what's going on behind the scenes, all that good stuff. Also check out the SoundCloud for the full um, bi-weekly podcast if you're interested, if you like the conversational pieces, go check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.